Hello, let us discuss about Enquin's problem using backtracking technique. So what is Enquin's problem? The problem is all about placing n by n queens so that one queen should not attack another queen. For example, here we want to place 4 by 4 queens where 4 queens should be placed such that one queen should not attack another queen. So let us demonstrate with, with an example and also write an algorithm. So start writing an algorithm here. So the algorithm n queens and we have k comma n. So we want to place k queens and there are 4. So, kth queen we want to place out of n. So, what we do here, very simple. We want to place a queen such that no queen should be placed in same row, same column and same diagonal. So, row, column and diagonal. Three things should be considered. Now, let us write an algorithm. So, algorithm in queens. So, what we do here? For i is equal to 1 to n. Do. That means what? Here, we want to place a queen in how many positions? 4 positions. So, let us check all 4 co for possible columns where we can place. So, the condition is if place of so place of where you want to place kth queen in ith column. So we will call it method called as place. The place method will check whether can we place this kth queen in ith column or not. If the result is true, we can place it. If the result is false, we cannot place. Okay. So let me complete this n queens algorithm first. Then we will write a place algorithm. Right. So what we do? Assume that the condition is true. If the condition is true, then we will write the solution x of k is equal to i. That means what? I want to place k to queen in i to column. Then what we do? We want to check whether we have completed placing all the queens or not. That means what? k double equals to n. That means what? In the algorithm language, did we completed placed all the queens? If at all what we do, if the condition is true, then write uh, x of 1 to x of n. So assume that we have placed all the queens, then write the solution. Assume that we did not place all the queens, then we have to call the place next queen. That is nothing but we will call recursively as we are using backtracking algorithm. Yeah. Else, the queen is the same problem in queens k plus 1. So, this finishes a simple n queens algorithm. Now, let us write place algorithm also. So, let us write the place algorithm. Yeah. So, algorithm. place that is we want to place k to queen in ith column so when we want to place in k to queen ith column we should make sure no two queens should be in the same row no two queens should be in the same column and no two queens should be in the same diagonal okay so that means what when we are placing k to queen, we have to check with 1 to k minus 1 queens. Right? So, let us write it. For j is equal to 1 to k minus 1 do. That means what? We are trying to place k to queen. We have to check all the previous queens. How did we place them? So, the condition is very simple. The row is indicated by automatically that means when we are placing first queen first row second queen second row 
third queen, third row, and fourth queen, fourth row. So we have to bother about column and diagonal. Okay, so row is already monitored by queen number, right? Now let us check how to check two queens should not be placed in the same column, right? So where we are writing the solution in the x vector, right? So the x vector is what? x is a vector where we write the solution, the column number, right? So we have to check the present column with previous columns. That is, if uh, x of i j x of i equals to uh, i. If this condition is true, means what? We are trying to place the present queen with the previous queen column. Let us demonstrate with a small example. Assume that already we have placed queen 1 here right then queen 2 here right then we are trying to place queen 3 assume that I want to place queen 3 here now let's check it. is it supporting it so queen 1 is what first position queen 2 is where it is third position now I want to place queen 3 in which position first position so when you are trying to place queen in first position that means what the i value is what 1 and what is the previous queen position okay so the i value is 1 and what is the previous queen position 1 1 equals to 1 means what you are trying to place third queen in the same column let me take one more uh, scenario assume that you have a queen like this queen 1 queen 2 then Queen 3 we have already placed. Now check it in any place. So the solution is what? 2, 4, 1. So already we have placed first queen in the second column, second queen in the fourth column, third queen in the first column. So when we are trying to place fourth queen here, let me check all possibilities. So assume that j is equal to 1. So what will happen? j value is 1. 2k minus 1. So I want to check first queen column and the fourth queen column. First queen column is what? 2. Fourth queen column is what? 1. No problem. Okay. Next j is equal to 2. Second queen column is what? 4. First uh, fourth queen column is what? 1. No problem. That means what? Check all the probabilities. 2 is equal to 1. No problem. Right. Next that means what? The condition is false. Next, 4 is equal to 1, no problem. Second queen is also no problem. But when you try to place third queen, then third queen is already placed in the first column only. And you are trying to place fourth queen is also in the first column. You cannot place here. Right? Can you place it here? Once again, check it. Can you place it here? Here? No. Why? Because the first queen already placed here. 2 is equal to 2. The condition will become false. So that means what? So how to check the condition? The present column that is i and the previous column information that is x of j. If the condition is true, you are trying to place. So this condition will check column information. Then what is the other thing you have to write? Or, or one more condition. The condition is what? You have to check the diagonal one now. So the diagonal is very very simple. The difference between row numbers and difference between column numbers, if it is equal, then we are trying to check both queens are in the same diagonal. So let me check. So very simple. Let me summarize here. Right. So what are the row numbers here? The row numbers are, what are the row numbers? So the row numbers and the column numbers. So the column numbers are what? X of J and I. And what are row numbers? Kth queen in J. So K is the present queen. J are the previous queens. That is row numbers. And X of J is the previous queen's column numbers. Solution set. And I is the present column. So if the difference of 
rows and the difference of columns if it is equal then means what both are in the same diagonal right now let us check it so the difference is what absolute of k minus j equals to absolute of uh, x of j minus i if this condition is true means what we are trying to place the queen in the diagonal so let's check with an example so the example is very simple now assume that i want to place fourth queen can i place here already the column condition is true so let me check with the diagonal line so q4 so of course column condition will be true we will not but i want to check with the diagonal condition so what is the column so what is the row number so fourth queen what is it so queen number 3 and what is x of 3 1 okay and what is the present queen 2 so if you check it 4 minus 3 is what 1 2 minus 1 is what 1 1 double equals to 1 the condition is true you are trying to place the queen in the same diagonal is that clear so it is perfectly sinks the scenario okay so very simple you have to check columns and diagonal if any one of the condition is true that means what you cannot place so return yeah so return means what false you cannot place return false otherwise what you do after condition the loop condition is over then what you say return true are we clear so yeah so now let's check the successful example already we have placed queen one in the second position queen two in the fourth position queen three in the first position now i want to place queen four here that means what let me write all the possibilities here so what are all the possibilities kth value is what fourth queen and i want to check with all possibilities so when j value is 1 x of j is what 2 and i value is what i value is what the present column the present column is what 3 now check it now check it first what is x of j yeah x of 1 2 equals to 3 false so column no problem and the diagonal 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 1 not equal that means what we don't have a problem with queen 1 now assume that the j value is 2 you want to check with queen 2 so the queen 2 please check it queen 2 column is what 4 yeah 4 double equal to 3 so we don't we are not trying to place in the same column perfect and the difference between 4 minus 2 2 4 minus 3 one so this is also not true next third queen so third queen column is what the third queen column is one yeah so present column is what three one equal to three so column no problem that means what the third queen column we don't have any problem and the difference between rows four and three one and three minus one two so one double equals to Now two. This is also false. That means what? We have checked all the possibilities, and we can place fourth queen here, right? Then it will return two. So the algorithm is very simple. We want to place algorithm in queens, and we are trying to place in all possible four columns. That's why for i is called one to n. If place of kth queen in ith column, I'll go here. and i'll check all the previous queens which i want to place for example if i want to place fourth queen you have to check with all the previous three queens that is j is equal to 1 to 4 minus 1 three queens and you have to check all possible columns so the fourth queen column must not be equal to first column that is first queen column second queen column third queen column and also the diagonal condition which is very simple difference between rows and the difference between columns if it is equal then we are trying to place in the same diagonal this is also then we are completing the loop and we are returning true here 
that means what we are placing the queen in the perfect position that is queen 4 here where we place the queen pawn will be placed where yeah where will place in the fourth right that means what we have completed now let me check it so x of 4 is equal to yeah yeah sorry third position right so we have completed now k value is what 4 n value is what 4 we have completed write the solution the solution is what 2 4 1 3 of course we have one more solution which is a mirror image of this which is nothing but yeah so the mirror image what is queen 1 yeah that is queen 2 uh, queen 3 and queen 4 so this is one more solution which will satisfy so in out of 4 by 4 queens we will get two solutions so the time complexity of this algorithm is o of n into n that is o of n square so which is almost e exponential time complexity all the backtracking algorithms will take exponential time complexities so in the next algorithm we will discuss few more thank you